I just host a podcast, Wholesome B, Mitch, Wavy, Trey, and today we got Taylor in the building today. Welcome. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Before we start, check us out on Apple Podcasts, IG, Spotify, YouTube, like, comment, share, all that shit. Yes, please. So today what I want to know is, um, do y'all think there is such thing as like, as moving too fast nowadays? Like, do people still believe in that? Like, that is that still a thing? In a relationship? In general. Moving moving too fast could be towards a relationship, could be just just in dating stages. It could be, um, are we moving too fast just as, as we get to know each other? Like, I mean, does that even exist? Yeah, I mean... I think I think it like kind of boils down to where you're at in life. Like I feel like you ask like a 17, 18 year old, but at the end of the day, though, I did have high school friends that were like married by like 22. So like for me, they, that seems really bad. They still together? Not all of them, no. no yeah. Still, I feel like it's fifty fifty. Like like you say you got some of your shit in order you vibe well whatever you on the same page get to know each other like y'all just connect well who is anybody you say you moving too fast because it be people mm. it be people who just met didn't really get married whatever move in and they be together for a long time as opposed to people who've been taking this slow taking it steady finally get married after they've been together for like five ten years then they divorce in 10 years type shit. So it depends on the person. Like, everybody vibe different. So, like, who can you say for real? I mean, so let's say um, let's say you meet somebody. Within a week, they tell you that they love you. Does the, I mean, would you think that's not moving too fast based on what you just said? Uh, it, it, it depends. <laughs> They're like, damn, did we have that lit one week where we just mesh up well? Like, damn. I wouldn't wipe you up that quick, but if you love me, I feel it. I don't see why not. Yeah. Because you said, based on your theory. I said every situation is different. And, like, you know me, I ain't the one to be this. I could be with someone for a minute, still not be my girlfriend. So, basically, the theory don't apply to you. Right. I said everybody different. So, I'm part of the different shit, so it don't apply to me. But if someone love me after a week, I can't blame them. I'm lit. It makes sense. Mm. What What do you think? So would that possibly move too quick? I mean, you brought up stuff from high school, but now right. as, as a you know, you're approaching thirty. I didn't even put your age out there, but no, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know exactly. Like, yeah. would that be a situation where it's like, okay, this is moving kind of quickly, or is that just okay? Um. Well, if somebody told me that they love me week one, kind of like him, I mean, I would get it. But I'm saying, <laughs> no, but um. I don't know. I feel like that would that would kind of that would worry me a little bit because I'd be like, what what is love to you? You know, like mm. you can have love or be interested in somebody without being like in love with them. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I was just saying. No, I just mean like. So it's like how many? Because like I don't want you saying I love you to like ten different people. I want mm -hmm. for me like I want to be your first love. So, yeah, I, I agree. If you're that. just throwing it out every relationship and, and mm. only a weekend, then it doesn't the the meaning behind it doesn't feel as genuine. Yeah, it like mm. I be I be you know? seeing different shit like how Nas felt or different motherfuckers felt. Be like, man, I knew from the first time I seen her, like, oh, she's gonna be my wife. Or like, I knew I loved her type shit. They don't even know this type shit. Like, right. so like love at first sight type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all believe in love at first sight? I, I it, think it never yeah. happened to me, but. You think it's a possibility, though? Yeah, people say yeah. that I've seen it, that I did it. Right. Who am I to say it, it's not a real thing? Even though it ain't happened to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. I think it's not a real thing for men. I think it's a real thing for women. Mm. I don't think it's a real thing for men because men might see that and say that for several different women. Right. They, see, <laughs> they might That's see it. They see this see girl. She looks good, very attractive. Look like she might be well mannered and carry herself well. Yeah. I want to marry her. And they see they can see the exact same replica her, of her but a different person and be like, I want to marry Man, her. Oh, I know. Man. I know. Oh, then they get drunk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know niggas who be going to different, different cities that live with a bunch of female, different countries. Every woman they see, like, damn, I'll marry her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's true. Like, they be that front. I don't blame them niggas. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, it be it be a bunch of beautiful women like in life. It, it right. don't make no fucking sense. I ain't gonna lie to you. All them like are worth wifey. All of them, you said? 
They see, look like why, it. That's why they it doesn't look, apply to men. Yeah, like, they look like yeah, it. They yeah. look oh, like I see what he's Because men, men yeah, are basing yeah. this off they of looks just that's true. completely. So right. I mean, like how we true. talked about Colombia earlier. Most yeah, of them, yeah. 80% of them say, look white. They're all white, but I was just going to yeah. say, you go to Colombia. Yeah. Based on how they look, but I mean, in reality, we don't, yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't know. That's why I don't believe that it's possible for men. Whereas women, I think they looking at a guy, they see a guy for the first time, they paint this whole picture of who he is. He's this. He's that. Oh my gosh. He's he's they're an amazing really, person in life. They, they have no idea who he is. Yeah. yeah. They realize they they wipe the nigga up. Realize the nigga ain't got no job, but he looked the part. But they paint yeah. this picture though. That's yeah. why I think right. it's possible for women. Because if he fits, if he starts to fit those spots, they're already all in because they painted this picture in their mind. I don't know if that's true or false, but I I think right. they do that. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I think like for women, they meet a guy or like they. Start, yeah, thinking that way, and then it just boils down to like they paint this future because of based off of what they've seen. Maybe, mm. like, maybe he's got a nice job, or maybe mm-hmm. he carries himself well, takes care of himself, whatever that looks like. And they just see, like, the, they can picture themselves in that future. Like, yeah. this man can provide, this man can take care of me. That's so, the biggest thing I hate about women. I'm being honest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes it makes dating. What, what, what they, like the picture part, or like, oh, then they can take care of me part. No, just the picture. Like they all like the painting of the picture without the reality. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Women suck at reality. Um, only because so like a lot of times I'm a nice person. I'm a nice person. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be vulnerable. Can I be vulnerable with you. Yeah. I'm a nice person. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. A lot of times women meet me, they say, this is a nice guy. They paint this picture. They paint this picture. All right, Picasso, bow, bow, bow. The reality, I'll tell them the reality of what's actually going on. Sometimes it's not the nicest painting. What do you mean? What's like an example? You want to ask questions, huh? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, like, example would be like, uh, what I want, what I want in a relationship and out of, out of life is not usually is not it doesn't fit the social norms it's not regular oh, okay. it's like I, I want um, a very open lifestyle okay that's not for everybody but I could tell somebody that and they still paint this picture of nah eventually you'll grow out of that eventually you'll want this <laughs> you know I seem like a guy that'd be a relationship type of guy want to get married and you know go that route but that ain't the reality mm-hmm. but they'll paint this picture because I'm nice I do well whatever yeah it's like I hate that I hate that for you. I hate that for y'all women, cause it's like yeah. just face the reality. And I feel the same. Like they paint a picture of me. I don't know what the picture is, but they got me fucked up. <laughs> That's how I be knowing. They be having me fucked up. Well, keep Trey's a nice guy. They paint him as a as, yeah, a, as a dog out the gate. But then it's like I'm a mixture. Like they might think I'm more savage than what I am, or less savage than what I am. I am a nice guy, but I'm a savage. So I think some people might, some might think like, damn, this nigga. I might look like a normal nigga, whatever, and shit, and might, I might look bland. Some might think I look bland or some shit, but then I'm really seven life and might be the littest nigga ever, or some just might be like, this nigga ain't got no sense. <laughs> it's like, it's, it no, it seems like it's no middle ground with me. Hmm. It's something I'm wifeable. So you're in a current relationship, right? Yeah. Did you paint a picture of who you with before you was with him? Ooh. Um... Our, I mean, it was it was different because um, I I chased him first. So you did. Chase yeah, him but me. but I'm trying to. But it was more looks wise in the first beginning because mm. I didn't know anything else. I saw him in my friend Snapchat. I thought he looked cute, and I was like, "Who is that? Like, I need to meet him." And then like everything else, like once I uh, did meet him, then everything fell into place. And yeah, I did picture this fantasy world. Like, ooh, right. so that's it. like all these boxes I've been looking for. Mm. So, so you yeah. was already fantasizing, and then he matched those boxes in what's in your fantasy. You're like, yeah. gosh darn, I'm right. Yeah, I hate yeah. when women yeah. do that. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying, though. Like, yeah. but that, but then now, that's when as a woman, you're like, I don't know if you like this, but just be mm-hmm. speculating. Like, oh, this is the guy that I want to be with, kind of for a long term, because mm-hmm. he does fit those boxes. This is kind of what I expect him to be like. He fits that F plus more, whatever. But I hate to throw the wrench. What if he's what if what if he's not actually like that? What if he's what if you kind of just blinded by your own like <laughs> that or it could be that or what well, you know the older we get, people just change anyways. Yeah. So what his relationship goes change like oh or just he might got good career path. What he just be like this the corporate America too stressful fuck this I'm turning to a fucking hippie type shit like mm. well and then you didn't expect that like he threw a wrench into 
your thought of a white bull ass nigga, like, okay. then what do you do? Well, so for me, because I'm, this is like my first like real relationship. I, I would consider myself pretty okay. picky in the sense of who I, because I don't want to date just a date. Like I have to see some type of future. Mm. So for him, it wasn't even necessarily, cause I mean, he's, he's a business owner. He has entrepreneur his whole life. So for me, it was more like, even if something went under for him, I know that he has like that mindset and like mm. he's capable of getting himself out of that. So I was more attracted to like that, like his, what he can do if, but I mean the hippie thing that you're thinking. I mean, I don't know. At this point, like I don't know. I mean, mm. I feel like until I cross that bridge, I feel like if he was like, let's just go live in a box. You go do it. That's okay. Maybe, but yeah. I don't but, know. but if I would be like, well, what changed in you? Like why all of a sudden? Cause but would you really ask that, or would you just be like? I trust you that you're going to figure it out because you do love his mindset. Exactly, and he'll lead the way, and hopefully he don't lead you into a wrong direction. Right. It's, but, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tough it's a tough situation yeah. either way. Plenty, yeah. plenty, plenty of women going to follow suit until they can't fuck with it no more. And that's, and that's, okay. that's to me, that's a, it's a bittersweet type of thing. I love women for that. The yeah. fact that, that they, I mean, once they like you, they like your mindset, like she's saying, they'll roll with you. Until they just stop believing, yeah. Until yeah, they right. stop believing in you, but when they believe in you, I mean, if this is what you want to do and this is what you think is the right thing, a lot mm -hmm. of times they'll go with it. And it's always good to have good. It depends on the woman, though. It does. Because a it lot really of people, does. it depends on what they're after. If they're after chasing a lifestyle and you don't fit that lifestyle anymore, mm. then they can go get that from somebody else. That's a good point. Yeah, That's a know? huge thing right now. It's yeah. like the lifestyle and fitting oh, yeah. what's what. Yeah. yeah, they definitely be chasing that shit. They do. Like, they don't give a fuck. Or they'll, oh, you ain't, you ain't supplying what I need. Oh, you, yeah. you on this fuck shit. This other nigga got me. Mm -hmm. But that ain't sustainable long term because that's how niggas met you. So... Right. Type shit. Well, sometimes it is sustainable because there's some guys that are just willing to just. It's all no. It's not sometimes. It's always guys that are willing to live that lifestyle to maintain that lifestyle for some woman. Yeah, no, for exactly. sure. Yeah. But once you get old and washed up, I'm moving to the next one. Exactly, and that's why women mm -hmm. have to be careful too that they're not just chasing these lifestyles because mm. at the end of the day, you go for a man like that and. What happens when you're 40, 60? Now exactly. he wants a 20 year old again. Now. Exactly. Because you chase a lifestyle, have? I am too. We just chase in different ways. Yeah. I want the young, lit dog, shorty female. Okay, cool. Because that's what you got me for. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting older. My money's still getting better, even though I got you with my money. Bitch, you kind of old now. Let me get Man. the younger version yeah. of you. Man, yeah. yes, it's an old saying yeah. that goes, um, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's stupid. But that's for real, though. I don't know if that's what someone's exactly about. Uh, that's I, funny. I, I don't think so. But <laughs> I understand what you're coming from. It fits. It does it, fit. It yeah. fits the scenario. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't yeah. go chasing the waterfalls. Don't yeah, go chasing like the waterfalls. Yeah, for me, I don't know if the same shit. But the grass is not always green on the other side. If you fuck me, it's always greener, though, of course. But... And not, and but the same goes for men. I know one thing that, like you just said, is uh, both of you just said is the guy goes possibly to a younger female, you know, twenty years down the line. The grass isn't always green. I mean, when dudes do that, they're uh, they're sacrificing uh, quite a bit. They're sacrificing, you know, whatever time they put in with this previous chick, and they're sacrificing possibly, I mean, intellect, conversation, like stuff like that for this next option. Mm. But you know but nobody nigga, ever talks about that though. Yeah, I mean if 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 I would never be in the situation, but if I was someone and shit and I left her for someone younger and shit, before I leave, I'm still might have both. But before I leave, I would make sure it's good conversation. I'll make sure it's sustainable. I'll make sure she really halfway fuck with me for real. Mm -hmm. Like the conversation would have to be there before I'd be like, Oh, this bitch can't talk, so like let me not fuck with it. Yeah. Well, I think even more going off of that, I just mean the reason why I feel like a man down the road would want to replace like his wife is not necessarily just by age. It's just like her values is increasing. Like maybe she's just giving him headaches. Maybe she's no longer doing the things that she was doing, like playing her part, you know, because we play different parts. Okay. So in turn, I mean, why like, especially like in a successful man, like why would he want to stay with someone who's bringing him down, not motivating him, not bringing, lifting him up? If he can go get you in a younger version, who's just not gonna talk about you know it? Uh, Damien Lillard, like <laughs> once he left, he 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 got divorced quickly. But who? But but why is it automatically as this woman gets older, she gives more headaches? The young bitches give headaches too. They different can. headache, different headache. But they can. the things they ask for are different than the, than the older ones ask for. Yes, but they're both giving the headaches. I'm gonna be honest. 
Yes, they're both going to give a headache. It's just a yeah. different headache. It depends, though, who, where you look what, and where you one, find. Yeah, I'm about to say, which one more worth it and which headache <laughs> holding, me, holding me down more? The older one, I would say, would hold you down more. The younger one, it, it's just, you know, it's just a goofy headache. Like, and First of all, I mean, I ain't going to leave my, like, you probably have a side female. You just, young one, just probably be the side one. You ain't probably leave your whole wife for her. Like, you just spend 50, like, time, 50% with your wife, 50% with a young one. 50, 50 for your for your side get fifty percent. The older you, you know? right. the older your wife get, the less time you gotta give her. Uh, hmm. Sometimes you gotta let the trade just talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it really. really I be talking shit. Dynamic. Like I really be talking shit sometimes. Like just just let it be. <laughs> so the older your wife gets, you gotta give her less. 50-50 for your side. Time, is time. It's it's right, like older women get, they want to stay in the house anyway. So if you a nigga with money, you just say you busy anyway, like the nigga you used to do back in the seventies and eighties. Um, I'm busy. I'm working. That when you spend the time with the other one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. You're but I, I just don't think fifty fifty is the, is the is the method is the measurement. Yeah. But whatever amount of time that will give you peace to go back home, it's the amount of time you spend with your side woman. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's Let me ask y'all this then. Um, and I, I'm not, I don't know if you've ever had a side or anything like that. I'm, we're not, we ain't got to go into that yet. <laughs> but have y'all ever like been with somebody and been thinking of somebody else though? Like, I mean, just flat out. I mean, I mean for me, I know that's for sure happened tons of times. Just like, I'm right here in front of this person, but. I'm thinking of somebody else. Let me be honest with you. Just like dating them or just like dating them, them? Maybe it's in sex. Uh, maybe it's whatever. Like the vibe being around them. Like damn, I'd rather hang out with her, but she ain't fucking with me no more. Type shit. Oh. Like, but this. But is I'd rather like, be with this person right yeah, now. This other person. Yeah, but this is what I'm. I'm this not what I'm saying going. Le- yeah, I ain't, I want to say it in a nicer way, but yes, this, this is what I'm left with. This is what I gotta settle for this right now. This is my only <laughs> option at this moment in time, but I miss my other option who ain't fucking. So it's not even an option. I just miss her. Type well, shit. are you guys gonna like rekindle? Never. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like maybe something. Oh, right, you never know. Life is life is long. Right. But no, it's been, it's hopes? been. A, yeah, you okay. got to keep hope alive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But has yeah. that's never happened to you? When I mean, you I guess like in in like the past, like back when like I was just more casually dating, I guess like mm. I would say. I would think back on situations like, dang, like I think I I messed up, like uh. Maybe I was going out too much for this person, and like now, like I'm not gonna get that person back. But now, like I'm talking to somebody new, and it's not the same, I mm-hmm. guess. But I mean, I like I said, I've only been in like one real relationship, and that's the one I'm in and now. And like, I feel like so you said okay, like damn, I fucked up. Maybe I'm going out too much. Do do we gotta compromise our true self for a person and how they feel to fit in their realm? Well, here's the thing. I think, I, see, like I said, I, I might have different opinions and people are probably going to look at me like I'm crazy. But I think if you're looking, like, think about, like, why it is that, like, you go out, mm-hmm. right? So, as a woman or a guy, like, a, a woman going out, you know, she's going to get hit on in the bar. She, for sure. Guys are going to be buying her drinks. Guaranteed. There's liquor flowing. So, there's just more opportunity for something bad to happen. Mm. So, putting yeah, women yourself might, in a, my, Women might give it to temptation. That's what she's saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there's liquor flowing, and there, you know, you've got a guy who's trying. He's in your ear. Maybe he looks good. Whatever. Like, there's more temptation. There's, there's opportunity. Mm. So, for me, like for a guy, if he told me I don't want to date you because you're going out all the time, then like in my mind, I mean, I would get it because it's like you have to think about why you're out. Like, yeah, I'm having a good time with my friends, but it's like we don't want to pay for alcohol. Or we want to just have fun and mm-hmm. get attention, right? Um, I guess I would say that in the past. So I don't know. I I don't think I don't see it as like compromise. I think like being in a relationship, it takes compromise sometimes. Like I would agree. what's worth? I would agree. Like I, I, you know I, what yeah, I mean? I, I feel it. I think it's all good and dandy when it's like a natural compromise. I don't right. think people should force it. Do the fourth compromise? I think because that when resentment having having your true self so when you do go out for real you going on the bench and you let dog shot it then you might fuck that nigga for real no yeah. I think um if this is somebody that you want to be in your life and this is something that they don't like you should 
uh, consider compromising whether it's natural or not mm-hmm. because this is somebody that you want in your life I think that's the whole point of a relationship is right. you say hey I like this person a lot they don't like when I do this let me look inward and say hmm is this something that I might want to give up because they don't like this is this something I this is somebody I really want in my yeah. life I yeah. think that's fair mm-hmm. yeah. like it doesn't have to be a natural compromise where it's like okay now I'm ready to give this up now right. I think the whole point of a relationship is you everybody finding that common ground so mm-hmm. there's gonna be things you don't like about this person things they don't like about you it's just finding that that middle point where it's like okay how can we figure this out for both of us for yeah that's moments. cool and you like the person that much and not then mm-hmm. well yeah, and that's why a lot of people are in half relationships where they're just kind of in a relationship just to be in one mm. that's where i feel like they're not willing to compromise like this whole take me as i am let me run the streets let me have only fans let me post that pictures let me talk to the, all the guys in my dms but I still want to be with you is like complete BS in my eye. Damn. I feel like that was personal. <laughs> so I took that personal. Oh, no, I just mean like, <laughs> as, I mean, I think there's just a lot of, a lot of girls out there that just mm-hmm. want to do whatever the heck they want and don't understand consequences for their actions. I'm not mad at them for that though. Only because there's always somebody for everybody. Everybody has somebody waiting for them. Right. So it's somebody that's going to put up with that. Somebody might, but they might also just bad heads. And they, but, but those kind of people that I usually see, they want someone who they don't want to have to work. They want to be able mm. to stay at home for their family while mm-hmm. their boys buying them Dior and all yeah, this yeah. stuff. And yeah. then they think they can still just do all that. Oh, yeah, it's no, like, what? No, if I'm doing everything, you know what I mean? Home. Yeah, I guess it's more like it depends on the roles. If you've got a man at home taking full care of you, you're not paying rent, not paying yeah, for anything. Yeah. Then you're doing what I say. You doing? So, yeah, that's what I mean. And I think it's okay. more. But you should find that common ground before, like, there should be expectations before you yes. even start yeah, dating. The, the expectation is, if I'm paying for everything, you do what I say. That's the only <laughs> expectation there is. That's the only compromise I'm dealing with. If you pay a little bit, then we can work something out. But if I'm paying everything, what I say goes. And I think that should be set. Like, mm. I think he would probably set his expectations. Like, hey, if I'm doing this and there's things that I don't want you necessarily doing, like, then I don't want you doing it. And if you're not with it, that's fine. And they don't have to be with mm. it. And they can just walk, you know? Yeah. No, I do agree that, like, communicating that early yeah. is important. Right, right. Early, right. like, early, often. Like, but this is what it is. I would, I would do that. I'm that type of nigga. But I also don't blame niggas who don't do it because... Have you ever told somebody that? What? Which part? If I pay for everything, you do what I say. No, because I ain't never told nobody <laughs> I'm going to pay for everything. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You were saying the strong side. I didn't oh, know. no. If I was, if I was in the financial know. space to yeah. do that. Uh, but I ain't no vet like that, like, right now. Like, I ain't, I ain't finna do So that. you will be in the future. I mean, right now, like, you, 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 you I'm don't know. I'm asking. Like, I don't yeah. know. I don't nah. know. I'm asking. I don't know. If I'm rich as fuck for real, and, like, someone fuck with me, and they just, if they acquire, like, the ones who acquire someone to pay for everything, which I doubt I would, like, fuck with seriously anyways, but if I'm fucking with you at this point or whatever, and this is what it is, and, oh, you want to pay for everything? I right, bet. Do what the fuck I say. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? I mean, so for me, I, I just think it's about communicating early and often. I mean, I'm with, some, I'm with the whole idea of people knowing what they want and sticking to it. Like, stand on what you want. I hate when people... Um, fold easily mm. on what they want. So, right. So it's like okay, it's okay to compromise because you like this person, but wait till it gets to a deep, to a deeper level of like, like you know, what I'm saying, wait, don't just do it just because this person is attractive. Nah, like stand right. on what you stand on at first and see if they're with it or not. If they're not, then okay, cut them off. But as it, things start to build, things start to get deeper. That's when you start to compromise. You don't compromise right away. But now, nah, stand on what yeah. you stand on. And I, I'm like, that's how I live by. I'm, you know, it's good, bad, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I stand on what I stand on. Whereas I, I'm an open person. I want open everything. But like, you sound like you said expectations. Yeah, that's just what it but is. But it's going to go to that next level. Yeah, no, I say it from the gate. Like, this is, yeah. what, this is the life I live. Right. And I, I know guys that do that. I have friends that are like that, too. Yeah, too. I think and guys do it a lot more often than women. Well, women are starting to do it more, and a lot of times it's monetary based or something like that. Like, you know, I need these things in order for you to be able to get these things from me. Mm. Where it's like, ah, okay, well, that's not the life I live. For yeah. Me. yeah. But, well, yeah. how do you feel about somebody trying to get you to bend your values to, like, be with them? Like, you respect these expectations. I respect it. Yeah. If I'm, uh, but then again, it's like, okay, if you don't have the backbone to stand on what you believe in enough, 
then that's on you. Mm. Yeah, I, I had a couple times where they try to like have me fold and want to be a relationship because I don't want to be in one. At least not they ain't turn you a relationship guy, but they find it, ain't nobody turn you into a trick. Nah. <laughs> 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 nigga really think shit funny. <laughs> but nah, so, like, they really <laughs> try to, like, one female got really mad at me for real because I like, yes, we could be friends. We can do all the dope ass shit just on some friend vibes and shit. Always trying to turn me to a boyfriend, like, type shit. I like, no, we're just good friends. And just, she would, when, I like, when it was like the road was crumbling, we would, she, like, I wasn't folding. It just like I was the worst nigga ever. Like, yeah, damn it, I told you what's up. Like, now I'm a bad guy. So yeah, that happens sometimes too. So women get their hopes up. They see this picture, like he said, they paint yeah. the picture. You're giving them boyfriend vibes, even though they you establish what you don't want. Yeah, I'm just a great guy. That doesn't That's mean right. that women aren't yeah. hopeful though. Yeah, don't 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 hope unless I tell you to hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna let you know. If I be like, damn, I fuck with you, I want you. Yes, yeah, cool, but don't change me or try to make it that unless I say that. If I catch a vibe, catch a feeling, oh, damn. But just because, like, I'm naturally just fun. I'm naturally caring, but I'm a savage, too. So, like, I'm just going nice. I'm just nice. I'm do dope shit. I'm going to take you out. I might fuck around, go on a trip with you, do some other shit. I'm going to cook that nigga, do that, whatever. But I don't mean I really want you like that, like as a just exclusive, or just this is how I have fun. I'm, I'm gonna start I, keeping track. I of know, that. I know you just said that. I just told you, so no, we no, 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 we now you going. It's they down. Don't even know what I'm, no, she don't just, know what I'm talking about. No, it don't matter. You ain't got, you ain't got to say it. Cause I know you say I was just going down a little thing. So I already knew what <laughs> I was trying to hesitate for saying it. I was trying to hesitate so bad. <laughs> so, but anyway, you're not gonna say it anyways. <laughs> But she has the, it she is a, it's an inside joke. She doesn't it. get it. Yeah, I didn't oh. want it to. So every episode, Trey mentions that he cooks for women and that he's fun. Oh, every episode. We got two hundred episodes. I don't okay. say it all the time. He said it two hundred times every episode. <laughs> We're just I just try to keep track of it. But it is a fact. He just has to always throw that out there. You know, I might cook. You know, I'm fun. I'm fun as nigga. Uh, my cook. He gonna say it every episode. I don't know. You hate it. I don't know. I don't know. Not true, but therefore that's what it is. But don't mean I want to be with you when I do certain shit. Like I'm a if I, I what what the damn where the affirmation? I thought women like that. If I ain't say, it, damn it, don't think it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta let them just go with it. So yeah, I was say. listening. I was listening. But so I want to know from your perspective, like. How do you react when somebody like asks you to kind of do things that are not, you know, they're asking you to compromise in a way? Hmm. Well, I guess like for me, I start to, because I feel like for me, like who I'm with, like has my best interest in mind too. So mm. like anything that could put me in a bad position or a bad spot, I feel like I understand. Like I let him leave. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say, necessarily say compromise per se because like for me if like I I don't know I guess I'm, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going with this like if you feel like he got you the right direction you let him leave yeah him. yeah because like I know like he's looked out for me in ways so like if he's like oh I don't think you should be doing that or doing this like then I stop and think and I think like well yeah what benefit is this giving me and like. Why is he thinking or saying that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes women got horrible judgment and characters. They'll be like the blind leading the blind. They they be leading by a dumb ass nigga and then they like, oh, it seemed like he thinking right, so they gonna be just dumb behind the nigga. Yeah. And he <laughs> and he leading them to a motherfucking dick. <laughs> women are good for that because they like him and I think he he looking out for me. Yeah, no, that's a fact. And so like when he if he were to tell you something like, Okay, I don't feel like this is right for you, are you like What's your reaction to that? Like, are you combative or what? Uh, in the beginning, I guess I'd say more so, yeah, because I thought it was more like, oh, you just don't want me doing something because... Well, less than that. I, that's, that's what I wanted to get to. Cause, yeah. Like, why do, like, I hate to generalize, but all <laughs> women do that. It's like, we not coming at you. We just... Yeah. Then you this, have to see it in a different way. Yeah. Because it seems like, oh, like, women, it's their first reaction. And it also, like, boils down to how you say it, too. Like, okay. Yeah, my you know, issue. I think like yeah, you like, say don't do that. I don't want you doing that. Versus like, hey, here's why I don't want you doing that, or here's like, 
Here's why this is a bad idea. Yeah. Then I think that you have to talk to women in a way that they understand. Like they're mm-hmm. they're very naturally reactive. Yeah, that's a fact. So I be it, when I'm I, when I'm cool with women, really talk to them. I be telling them shit, and they hate the way I tell them. So they define just do stupid shit because they hate the way I told them the right shit. Like mm. I hate to say this, I might sound like a horrible person. It's gotta let Trey talk. He <laughs> already know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it in a nicer way. Some women are stupid, man. Some women are yeah. stupid. Like on some real shit. Like I, I, if I, I ain't gonna tell you. Well, me, cause mm-hmm. like I said, some niggas lead are leading blind. Mm-hmm. If I'm fucking with you, like I'm gonna outweigh the good and the bad. I ain't gonna tell you shit for no reason. I'm doing for you better judgment, so you don't look stupid. Yeah. But you rather look yes. stupid sometimes because. You just, I don't even It just feels know. good. Or, or I don't like the way I'm saying the right yeah. shit. So you want to be defined, do stupid shit. Right. So I think the only, I think that's, I think you're right on that. But the only problem with that is men want women to trust everything they do. Even though most times niggas ain't trustworthy. So mm-hmm. example, like you just said, you want her to go with what you just said because you know it's the right thing to no, do. That's no. trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even but, though, are you the person that she, that she should be trusting? For sure, me, one hundred percent. But, <laughs> but we're gonna have a conversation about it. Like we're gonna outweigh the pros and the cons. Like let it balance. Do 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 shit. Outweigh each other. Oh, do what I say make more sense. So you trying to say like try to say the pros of your behalf, but ain't making no fucking sense because you just hate the fact that I'm right and making sense. Hmm. So like, do it make sense for real? Or you just mad that I'm making sense in the way I'm saying the shit. Nah, that takes a lot of trust. It depends, yeah. Yeah. And I think, like, also, it depends on the roles in the relationship. If it's, like, Mm. more of a 50-50 thing, then, like, somebody telling me exactly always what to do might not work on somebody. Mm. Or or if a woman... Or if a woman, let's say, the woman makes more. That's why I think, like, unfortunately, like, Girls who have a lot of money, more money than their their man, it like, it's a always a it's usually a bad situation. And sometimes, wow, usually a bad situation. You think? Yeah, I think because now the woman feel now the woman mm-hmm. feels like they're in their masculine energy. They've got control and they can tell their man whatever they they're not going to listen to their man's like concerns or because. Hey, I'm gonna just say from my perspective, I don't care how much money you make. <laughs> it's not like like I am who I am. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't want to say it like this, but I'm a man, man. Like, like, there's no telling me. You can't tell me. I don't care how much money you make. You can't tell me nothing. Like, yeah, but that's kind of how I say. I don't know. Twenty twenty three. I shouldn't no, say no, that. I, I agree you know what I mean? No, it's like if I'm you're ready. living with your girlfriend, don't have a job, not doing anything. Maybe you're foul. You yeah. know what? I, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, I would, in yeah. that situation, if you've got a guy like that telling your girl she can't go out, I why, need to show why, up. Why do women? Yeah. Love, why do women love bitch ass niggas like that? Like. <laughs> Like because why? it gives them control. Okay. You can make more than me okay. and you ain't going to have control, but I ain't going to be that foul and like not do shit with my life. Yeah. That's crazy. But now they have the power. Now they have the control. Like Now they feel like this guy depends on me, so mm-hmm. he has to listen to it. He's going to put up with my BS. Mm-hmm. He's going to do what I say and like he and can't still, tell me anything. And he's still going to fuck other better. bitches on your dime. <laughs> but it's the same as when men think the same thing about women. Uh, uh, yeah. You just said at the beginning of the podcast... If the guy makes all the money and pays for everything, she needs to do whatever he says. Yeah. Same. It's, it's just Rose verse. Yeah. yeah. She don't. Just replace him. Mm. Everybody replaces with billions of people <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Some people can't look outside of their bubble, though. Yeah, they're bad. It's hello, mm-hmm. man. Go outside that bubble. That bubble. Outside that bubble, lit as fuck. <laughs> outside the bubble is lit. Man. But, yeah, however, right. so we got to toast up to this. So, it's just a more lit thing. Even though it's billions of people in this world, with all those billions, black men still won't cheat. We appreciate mm, you, preach, Jada, for coming through preach, today. Preach. <laughs>